How's it going, everybody? Sean Allen here. <laughs> you see the reflection that's going on right now? Yes, that is Spider. He is scratching his gel on my camera. So, by now you've probably seen my special light show video. If you have not, check out the link down below in the description of this video. Yes, you're looking at me like this because I feel like it. So what's going to happen in this video is that I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes of this particular show that I created for YouTube. It's called The Magic of Hogwarts. It's basically a collage video containing footage from all three of the different light shows. Nighttime Lights, Dark Arts, and The Magic of Christmas. Now, for those of you guys who don't really know about myself, I have actually worked on all three of these shows. I was also one of the opening team members for the Dark Arts show. That was quite an experience, I must say. And in all honesty, all three shows are all unique in their own different ways. The interesting thing about two of the shows is that we got two of them from Orlando. One was specifically made for us. Two of them being Nighttime Lights and Magic of Christmas. Dark Arts was specifically made for us, for Hollywood. And very quickly, I don't know if I mentioned this in the comments section or not, but I wanted to dedicate this particular show video to all of the team members that worked during all three of these shows when they were recorded. So, anyways, let's get started. So, as you can see, this is actually the first image that you see in the video. And you hear my, my voice in the background talking about a little plot for the story of what is about to happen. And this is footage from Nighttime Lights at Hogwarts Castle. And it's a lot darker, in my opinion, in terms of, like, the first image that you see. When you look at the Dark Arts show in the beginning, it's actually a little bit brighter than this one. But, anyways, I enhanced the image just a little bit so you can see the castle better. I probably should have done that for the end, but that's okay. Anyways, so... What you see here is the castle, and then it dims, and then you hear the Hogwarts hat saying, Oh, you know, good evening, I'm the Hogwarts Sorting Hat. Now, I'm keeping the volume off because I know that I have some issues with copyright and all, so I'm going to keep this going without the music and soundtrack. So basically, the show starts, the lights dim, and what's interesting is that I actually recorded like three or four different shows. And I remember on this particular night, this show had a ton of... Of technical problems because they would start the show and then they would stop it and at one point there was even like in the midst of the show they had a technical problem they had to shut it down so this wasn't a good night to be filming this but still it was actually really cool now if I remember correctly this particular footage didn't have the fireworks because there was one night where I recorded this and it didn't have fireworks and then the very last image that you see on the video that one did have fireworks because that one's also from nighttime lights now, the idea is that Hogwarts is nice and peaceful and calm, so we go, okay, so we're starting out really cool with nighttime lights. You get to see the four houses of Hogwarts, but then a little bit of darkness rolls in. A little dark arts, I mean, and creepy crawlies. So first off, we see Ravenclaw right there. We've got the Ravenclaw logo. And I decided for this particular video, I wanted to show more of just the whole castle than any of my other videos, because in the other videos that I've, I've actually posted, I have, what I've done is I've, cut different takes of the show at different angles but for stuff like this I wanted to show more of the castle like give a better appreciation of the castle as this like full form and that's what I decided to do because I wanted to make it look like you're watching this from the stage mostly well, unlike that shot now this is actually going into dark arts now because we were at uh, let's see we're at Hufflepuff here and then it's gonna go into a fade right about there so it fades out, and then we see dark arts. Now, what's interesting is the reason I did that is because, as you'll notice, there's no moon here. Now, in the next image, in the next couple of images, I should say, you'll see the moon show up right about here. Now, I could have easily just transitioned from this to Aragog the spider. Well, I thought that wouldn't be a great transition because then all of a sudden you see the moon pop up out of nowhere. So I was like, you know what, that's probably not a good idea. So, thankfully, I had another piece of footage that I could cut and transition into to make it really creepy you see the webbing from the side of the castle this is looking on the left hand side of the castle so you go there's the webs the lights and then we transition back and there's the moon and then you see Aragog the spider 
And this was actually, I think, a better decision because then you don't see the moon. You think, oh, where'd that moon come from, you know, previously? And then, yeah, it basically, it's a lot better transition. So, Aragog there. Originally, when I first posted the video about Dark Arts, there was a much closer image of the spider. But I decided to not do that this time around because I wanted you to see the spider do what it's normally doing there. And then I transition. I love the shadow effect, by the way. It's going behind the castle, or it looks like it's going behind the castle. And then it's crawling up this tower here you got all the mini little spiders now originally when i was going to do this i was going to have the very special music from what was it the yule ball because originally if you look at uh ravenclaw it's got blue well in the footage from the christmas show the blue is showing with the Yule Ball. So I was thinking, oh, I can transition from this to the Yule Ball. But the problem is that there's no yellow at the end of the Yule Ball. It still stays blue. And I'm like, well, how that's not a good transition because the next thing we see is yellow and plus the soundtrack is a little awkward there. So I decided not to use the Yule Ball. So I just kept in Ravenclaw Hufflepuff together. And then originally I was going to not include Aragog because as you'll see here coming up in just a second, there's going to be a little bit of yellow here. So I was going to transition to yellow and on yellow, as you can see. Hufflepuff, yellow. But then that wouldn't be a good idea because it goes completely dark. So I was like, oh, that's probably not a good idea. So I decided not to do that. I included Aragog a little bit longer than what I wanted to, but I think it works properly. Now the yellow, of course, is the area where we see the devil snare and the trolls the trolls fighting there as you can see again another transition editing decision because what happens is that when the last troll disappears into the tower it goes completely dark and so i decided okay why don't we just do another transition and make it somewhat creepy and it's been kind of blurring lights a little bit so slytherin thankfully has a very similar effect and that was a great transition to slytherin and again, no moon. We're back to nighttime lights. Lights are just looking around the castle, and then it's going to go into the Slytherin tune right about now. And it's got all that green there, as you can see. I thought it was a really good transition. So I decided that this would get a little bit darker now because of Slytherin, you know, and a lot of people like say, oh, Slytherin's not always dark. Well, a lot of the dark wizards came from Slytherin. But again, Slytherin right there, and... You would think that, that it would be all nice and cool, right? Yeah, because here's Gryffindor. You get a little sense of pleasure because, you know, it's Gryffindor, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Hermione Granger, and all that. So you think, okay, so we're back to normal, right? And then it's like it disappears, and you see the red disappear, and then boom. All of a sudden, you start to see Dementors. Now, this was another transition like I really wanted to try to work on because you'll see all the red here as it's disappearing. kind of fades away. Well... In the Dark Arts Light Show, there is this fire dragon that comes out of the castle, and it comes out, and it flies around, and then it leaves with as a big ball of flame right about here. Well, when it does that, it shows this ripple effect of fire, I should say, and it goes all over the castle in this direction. I thought that actually would be kind of cool to see, to make it look like it was the end of Gryffindor. So as you can see, it's disappearing right about here, and then see that there's the fire effect right there. It makes it look like it's still Gryffindor, and then boom, we're now in Dark Arts again. So now we have the Dementors, and this is the part of Dark Arts that I left in the most, because, you know, it's Dementors, then we go into Death Eaters, and then the big guy. Well, first you see the mark, the mark of the Death Eaters. And then it's going to transition to a graveyard, and that's when we see Snake Face. And originally I was going to add in the other clips of the fire from the, the trees here, but I decided, no, I think it's better that you see the full castle, because originally when I did this, you didn't see this full effect, which I thought was pretty cool, and I wanted to add it in. So I decided for this video to leave it in, and again, the idea is that you're looking at this from the stage right across from the castle, so you're basically getting like a good, a good view of the castle that you wouldn't normally see. And this is on a tripod, by the way, there at Universal. Boom, there it goes. Now, originally, this was supposed to be a little bit longer. And I decided to kind of cut it a little bit short. So, as you can see, the colors change a little bit right about now. And instead of hearing Dumbledore's voice, it goes right into the soundtrack for the, the stag in the sky. Or should I see the Patronus? And my idea here is that all the wizards in the castle are starting 
the like basically repair the castle. Now originally for Dark Arts it's left in ruins. Well, that's kind of a sad thought to see Hogwarts in ruins. So I decided to make it look like they were repairing the castle. And in the original video, I don't have this shot here. And right here, you're going to see a digital zoom that I added into the video right there. That's me on iMovie digitally moving the camera into that. And then you have the Magic of Christmas. Now, the idea is that as you still see the blue going into the sky, it looks like Hogwarts is somewhat repairing itself. So the idea is that, yes, you see the blue... And as there's still a little bit more showing up there on the side, there's a digital zoom right there. As we're going back, you're thinking, oh, the Hogwarts Castle is now being repaired. So now the Weasleys come in and they show off their different, like, magical techniques to cover up the castle, make it look like it's still being repaired. This is actually the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle. And this is the only part in the actual show that I made that features... The Magic Christmas. Now, I could have easily put in other parts of the Magic Christmas, but it includes a Christmas tree right here, so it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense, plus there's Christmas decorations all over the castle, so this is the only part I left in from the Magic Christmas. So technically, yeah, it's mostly nighttime lights and dark arts, but still, you got a little bit of Christmas in here. And then it goes to black. And then you got the Ravenclaw. This is the end of nighttime lights. Now, originally, when I first edited this video, I couldn't find the footage of the fireworks. Well, guess what? I found it recently, in fact, today, actually, and I added it in. There are the fireworks. Originally, the fireworks were not going to appear, and I thought, you know what? we got to have the fireworks. I knew I had footage somewhere of the fireworks, so I decided, okay, let's go ahead and add the fireworks in, because I know that everybody would be like, hey, well, what happened to the fireworks? And I didn't want to have to have that happen, so there they are. There are the fireworks. Now, this was truly the show that it was meant to be. This would be a huge, huge budget. Because you got the Patronus in the sky, you got the fire effects and the fireworks. Not to mention the projections and all that, so... And fog effects. I feel like, for YouTube, this is great, right? And there you go, that's the end. And this took me about two to three days to completely edit together. <laughs> And it was a lot of fun to edit, too, but it was really stressful at times because I was like, how is I going to transition into this? Now, the whole idea of me actually creating this show was the fact that it's getting close to summertime. I'm thinking, well, we probably are going to have a light show this year. So I decided to create this one in honor of all three shows. I compiled the, all the shots into one whole video to make it look like it was one whole show. There were some shots I had to edit out, unfortunately, because not just of time, but I, I really wanted to leave some of them in, like the fire dragon, but... Again, it was time and, you know, I had to make some executive decisions. But I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Again, if you haven't seen the entire video with with the actual soundtrack, be sure to check it out. The link will be down below in the description of this video. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this behind the scenes of how I created this video. And again, if you want to see the video, check out the link down below. Thank you so much for watching in the scenes they say in Hollywood. Technically, I'm not in Hollywood. I was here, but I'm still at home editing this video. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you all tomorrow. Bye!